Hello, my name is Anthony Corrish. I'm the executive head teacher of the Dalian Martyrs Catholic Secondary School here in Hillingdon. Very welcome to our open evening, which is not quite an open evening, I know. I'm speaking to you this morning from a working school, from our school chapel as well, right in the very heart of our school, the epitome of everything that we do. The school was founded in 1962, and we serve the borough of Hillingdon and way beyond. We're part of the Diocese of Westminster and we're also part of a specific group of schools within the Diocese of Westminster, Dowat. This is a group of like-minded schools who work very, very hard to ensure that all of the students get the very best education that they can. As well as myself, I have a number of key staff, particularly my heads of school, Ms Mead and Mr McGee. Of course, there are many, many other incredibly fantastic staff I just don't have the time to introduce you to them all today. What I also just need to say is that I have a great chair, uh, chair of Governors, uh, Michelle O'Grady, and really that, that Board of Governors supports us incredibly well. I wanted to share with you what is distinctive about our school. Our Catholic ethos underpins every aspect of school life. We've developed with our students something called Walk With Me, an expression of what we want to do as a community, with Jesus at, at, at the centre, with God and joy and hope and support there for everybody. That's just a way of summarising our Catholic ethos. We've also developed something called the Dalai Way, an aspirational approach, a can-do approach, with high expectations, high expectations for everybody. Let me just elaborate a little bit on what my expectations are. Of course I expect absolutely fantastic behaviour. Of course I expect attendance, uniform. I also expect the really good relationships and attitudes to learning. I expect students to participate in charity and community, to become ambassadors, to become involved in our charity work, to think about other people and be very well aware of the whole community and not just themselves. I expect everybody to participate in drama and music and art and sports and everything else that is available from year seven and not wait until year 11 or year 13. And of course, we have high standards of academic achievement and that expectation is there for everybody. Whether that means students who join us in year seven, perhaps with particular learning needs, with low prior performance, we expect them to make progress and we work very hard with them. But we also expect students to go on to university and apprenticeships and fantastic careers. This year I'm pleased to say that students have left us going on to Oxford, to King's, to UCL, to Warwick and a whole range of other universities for a whole range of courses from history to law to medicine to languages. All of that is part of our expectation for everybody, not just for some. As you can see, I'm very proud of our school, but please don't take my word for it. Go and have a look at our Ofsted report. Go and have a look at our diocese and validation. Both of them celebrate our school. I'm really proud of the fact that for our Ofsted validation, we were judged to be outstanding on every category. Of course, in a way, that's all in the past. So what is our vision for the future? That vision is there for the next 10 or 15 years. It doesn't depend on one member of staff, it depends on us as a community. What we're aiming to do is to at least meet all the standards that we've met in the past. But frankly, even that's not good enough. At the moment, we're in the top 10% of schools nationally. We want to be in the top 1%. So that means if your child joins us, when they do their GCSEs, when they do their A-levels, when they're progressing on to higher education, we want to be there absolutely at the top, with them able to achieve everything and anything that they want. Of course, we're going to improve our facilities, but most importantly, we're going to keep working in the Dawei way, the way that supports everybody in our community. I now need to say just a little bit about our admissions policy and process. If you want to apply for our school, you need to complete two forms. The common application form, which you'll get from the local authority. It doesn't matter which local authority you, you live in, you need to get the form from them. And you need to place us really very high up as a preference. You also need to complete the supplementary information form, which you can get from the website. The same place that you found this presentation. Our admissions policy is on the website. Please read it carefully. The deadline for both forms is the 31st of October 2020. You will need to gather some information for the supplementary information form. Please start that process now. If you have a son or daughter in our school, you will also be in our school next September. Please remember to tick the sibling box. We can't complete that for you. You need to complete it. 
Normally you'll be able to ask us lots of questions at the open evening and I appreciate that you can't do that this year. So if you have any specific questions, please contact Mrs Hayden, my admissions officer at the school. You can email her, you can telephone her and she'll do her very best to answer those questions. But again, you need to ask those questions before the 31st of October. You won't know for quite some time whether you've been offered a place here, so please be patient. We're not allowed to tell you until March. But let me tell you, we normally have over 800 applications. So as you can see, it takes quite a bit of time to work through those. If you share our vision, if you share our aims and our approach to learning and teaching, if you're looking for a combination of a progressive school with traditional values, where students wear uniform, where they behave well and they work hard, but they're also given time and space to grow, then we welcome an application from you. If you don't share this vision, if this really isn't the right school for you, then I wish you good luck with the process. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. Take care, and I hope to meet you in person much later in the year when we're able to welcome you to our school. Thank you.